what happened when I decided to write down 10 ideas a day? Would you believe this was not the hardest habit to start? But let me go back a few years. I read an incredible post from Tim Ferriss, author of Tools of Titans and the 4-Hour Work Week. He wrote about journaling daily, and how he could create formulas or recipes by going back to his journals to figure out how he achieved or reached a result. Then I read about a gratitude journal, listing out something you are grateful for each day. So I started journaling. Not so much a does Jenny like me? Type journal that most people think about when you say the word. More of a planner where I capture thoughts, and outline my day, plus I happen to list things I'm grateful for first thing in the morning with coffee. I had to stop writing coffee every morning because let's face it, it's a gift from the gods. Then I read a post by James Altucher about how we've left the knowledge economy and entered the idea economy. Bloggers are becoming influencers by sharing their thoughts, and those with the best ideas get to keep moving up while people who refuse to engage in new ideas are going to be stuck in an old world economy and eventually find themselves shut out. I saw proof this day after day not only in my reading, but in my everyday life. My Galaxy S7 was a more powerful computer than my first one, and I could almost do all my work from that smartphone. All I needed was access to a cell tower and I was connected to the world. It truly requires a new way of thinking. In fact, you can see it in my chosen vocation every day now. I write and sell books on the world's largest publishing platform. I work in fiction and in non-fiction, and multiple genres. Basically I write and share stories and ideas every day. 20 years ago that wasn't possible. In fact, until 2009 it was practically impossible. But Jeff Bezos of Amazon built the world's largest online bookseller, which he evolved into the world's largest online retailer and then opened up publishing to independent authors. Suddenly writers no longer needed to get past the gatekeepers who decided what got published in the past. Those with really great ideas could come up with the story, write it, publish and sell it. And the more ideas you could come up with, the more you could sell. So I stared writing and collecting all of the ideas I've come up with over the past decade into one central place. Then Al Tutcher challenged me to come up with 10 ideas a day. He challenges anyone to do it, but it was a task I took to heart. Every morning I get up, I make a pot of coffee, open my journal and list out three gratitudes. These are the three things I'm thankful for. Sometimes I'm grateful for having ideas. Sometimes it's because I'm able to pursue my passion. Or my children. Or my girlfriend. But each day I try to focus on a new area. Then I start thinking in the silence. And I list down what pops in my head. Some mornings I can come up with a title and plot, which feeds off itself and can create a series, like the Norse series I'm putting on my schedule for next year. Some mornings I can write an entire kid's book, like Robobots, which should be illustrated in the next month and be released in March. And other times I think about a news clip from the night before and come up with ideas to improve the local economy, or to create a new business series, or to host a meeting on Meetup with other writers who want to learn about marketing. The secret to great ideas is you can't limit yourself you have to write down everything you can think about. The bigger the idea, the better. Like how to get 10,000 people to go into downtown Little Rock every weekend to spend money in the local economy. Or even better how to deliver 10k people into each of the three economic zones in Little Rock two times a month. What ideas do you have that could bring 30,000 people into a city for a weekend trip? I write about how to make movies in Arkansas, how to film a series in Orlando and sell it to Netflix how to write a book and get producers interested in it, and have a series in LA, another in NOLA, one in R and one in FL at the same time. I take business ideas for t-shirt design and put them next to 100 others. Will I ever act on them? Who knows? The point of writing 10 ideas a day is to get through a bunch of crap to find the gems. Will a big damn t-shirt make millions? Probably not. But 10 t-shirts that sell 100,000 limited editions each will. Partner with a charity so the proceeds benefit that charity and now you're talking about a fun idea. Great? We'll see. But fun to come up with, fun to partner with people and fun to make it happen. And that's the point of coming up with 10 ideas every morning. You get to filter out the fun ones, and decide which get attention and which deserve deeper thought. An idea producing machine is only as good as the action you put behind it. But the fact that you can create on command is going to serve you well in the new economy. Like the Uber driver James talks about who makes a little bit of money as a driver and four times as much marketing as line of jewelry with the people who hop in his car. What ideas do you have to make the world a better place? What would make your world better? I bet you have an idea. Check out even more magic marketing tips and get started doing more today.